Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Persona 3 Reload. Last time we finished off Maiko's social link and uh, went a uh, basically furthered um, uh, Miyamoto's uh, social link, the, the track team guy. And uh, we're drawing ever closer to the full moon as we got another visit from Pharos saying we only had a few days uh, left uh, until the next big battle. Uh, and the... Uh, final exams for the semester are officially upon us, as I think there's it's a week after uh, the full moon, um, which is only like a few days away. And uh, we also spent quite a bit of time in Tartarus, uh, basically going up, um, you know, proceeding further up, uh, up until we reached the barrier. Um, and we rescued two more people in the uh, from Tartarus who somehow winded up uh, getting lost in there. So, yeah, let's continue on. So, yeah, we were here, and let's head back out. Oh, hello. Do you want to stop? I want to call it quits. All right. Hey, get this. The other night, my boyfriend casually tried to take me to Shirakawa Boulevard on a date. Excuse me? What? No way. That that Shirakawa Boulevard? Ew. He totally had an ulterior motive. Yep, yep. Yeah, having a good time. We just started dating, but I'm already getting creeped out. His head's always in the gutter. Maybe I should dump him. I don't want to end up like those couples from the rumors. You know, the ones found unconscious somewhere. First spell is wrong. We also actually um, have Yukari and Fuka kind of um, questioning Mitsuru's, um, I guess, knowledge of Arteris and Shadows. Like they, they think she's hiding something. That's uh, that's another little story beat that we missed. So, in this section. Okay, as you all should know, there are many theories about the author Murasaka Shikibu. That the tale of Genji was authored by someone else. That Murasaki Shikibu was a shared pen name. Some have even suggested that Murasaki Shikibu was an alien from outer space. A truly intriguing story. Is that true? Is that... Like, is this a real story or is it, like, made up for, like, the game? You've probably seen her portrait printed on the 2,000 yen bill. Well, since we're on the topic of Murasaki Shikibu, here's a question regarding the tale of Genji. Thou shalt not recite such a tale of this world before the princess. Do you understand? Now, what such tale does this quote refer to, Yori? Go on and answer. Huh? Huh? Me? Hey, let me a hand here. What kind of tale is he talking about? Um... Oh my god. What what's the question? Thou shalt not recite a tale such a tale of this world before the princess. I'm guessing a peaceful world? Of course not. That's not correct. I cannot possibly wait to see what tales you will write on the next exam. The world used in this sentence refers to the world of relationships and romance. Therefore, he is told not to read tales of romance in front of the princess. However, world can also refer to society or mankind, like how it's often used today. Make sure you read it correctly based on the given context. Now on to the next one. Stupid old Dakota. Ain't nobody gonna use the tale of Genji in the future, damn it. Well, that's my bad. Class has ended. Hmm. There's a rumor saying there have been more apathy syndrome cases lately. What a pain in the ass. I mean, yeah, it's... It's, uh, close to the full moon. 
It must suck being unconscious. I mean, you don't even know if you'll wake up or not. Let's see if there's anything going on anywhere. Does not look like it. Okay. Let's continue on with Kazushi Yo. Miyamoto. And to practice. I don't think our bond will grow any stronger. Um, yeah, let's do it anyway. Come on, give it all you got. Okay. Welcome back. What's up, dude? Whoa there. Hey, have you heard? Shadows are attacking couples now. I bet the shadow behind it is a jealous and lonely son of a gun. How sad. Hello. If I'm not mistaken, the next shadow will reveal itself soon. We have a full moon coming up on the 7th. I expect the dark hour that night to be eventful. This next operation will be crucial to my research. Make sure you're prepared for the next full moon. I'm curious what level everyone is. Level 25. Um, yeah, we're about the same. I think we're level 24. Yeah. Hello. It appears the number of lost is increasing again. This time, however, it seems many of the new cases specifically involve couples. Hmm, perhaps uh, who the shadows target is dictated by the time of year. Maybe. Oh. Hey, did you eat dinner already? I'm thinking about making some food. I might get a new ability. Is that what that said? You got time on your hands. Do you want to make some food together? Um. Wait. Karen might gain a new ability soon. Uh, sure. Thanks. I'm thinking of using the cabbage in the fridge to make a cream stew. I've heard it's healthy from leaf to core, so I'll go ahead and use the entire thing. As you can see, I've done my homework. <laughs> Did you come prepared? Uh, looking forward to it back on my game after making that perfect chicken saute. This will be no problem at all. Okay, less talking, more cooking. I'll handle the main dish with the cabbage. So how about you start on the rice and stuff? Sounds good. I cook together with you, Kari. The cream stew is mild and delicious. Cabbage cream stew. <sighs> I'm stuffed. We made short work of that, huh? So, how'd you like today's meal? Yum. <laughs> From last time. Oh, you said it! You actually said yum! Finally! I just had to get you to say it today. Hey, remember what I said the very first time we cooked together? That I'd make it so delicious you couldn't help saying yum. I'm pretty stubborn, you know. But I gotta say, it's nice seeing the look on someone's face when they're eating something they really like. It's not just about proving myself. It's that I really wanted to see that smile again. Aww. <laughs> what, did that make me sound selfless? Sorry, but this is still a two-way street. Next time, it's your turn to do something for me. Let's make some yummy memories together. After the successful meal, Yukari is smiling warmly. Personality after healing someone. Ooh. Reduces the SP cost of recovery skills. Unlock the teammate character skills. Uh, the achievement I got is unlocking a, a teammate's uh, personality or characteristics, rather. So reduces the cost uh, of recovery skills to 50% of their normal SP cost. Wow. That is awesome. You've unlocked combat characteristics. There are passive effects that will automatically activate during battle. Your party members each have unique combat characteristics which become available as you deepen their bonds. Select status in the Y menu for further details on a party member's combat characteristics under Theurgy. Thanks for today. Let's do this again when you have some time. Okay, let's hurry and get this cleaned up. Mm. 
morning. You know, it's going to be a full moon soon. Doesn't that make you nervous? No. <sighs> oh, yeah? You're always so calm. Well, I guess we have to do this no matter what. Let's see what it says under, um, would it be stats? Uh, theurgy. Personality. I wonder if anybody, if everybody has only one. Thought about everything. I don't think we have a choice. We have to do this no matter what. I mean, yeah, obviously. Okay, so we're done with Maiko. And this is just Bunkichi. So we have uh, Yuko Nishiwaki. Who is Yuko again? Oh, the art club. Right, right, right. Or we could do Nozomi. Um, let's do his. Let's do the Gourmet King. Listen. Hey, Yuki Kun. Perfect timing. Do you want to get something to eat? I can hear my poor stomach crying sadly. Okay. Uh, spend some time. Yes. Wonderful, my gourmet friend. Let us set forth on our culinary adventure. Today we'll have some delightfully juicy meat at the strip mall that's practically exploding with flavor, and that can only mean one place. You have a pretty good appetite. <laughs> you even kept up with me. <clears throat> How do you stay so thin, though? <laughs> Looks really are deceiving, aren't they? But that means there are people out there who secretly want to take my title as Gourmet King! Eh, maybe. Actually, remember that puny middle-aged guy from the other day? I bet he was an assassin! Maybe. There's nothing I can do about it right now, but I'll show them soon enough. Just you wait. In light of your recent achievements and your courageous appetite, I hereby appoint you to the Gourmet King's Royal Guard. Thanks. Well, maybe that's too much of a burden for you to bear. Suomitsu really seems to trust me. By the way, you're a second year, right? So you're one year below me. It kind of feels like I have a younger brother now. Well, would you want to be my younger brother? Uh, sure. Why not? You do sort of look like him. No, that's impossible. Whew, I knew this would happen. I always get hungry if I think about the past too hard. And I just filled up on that beef bowl, too. Better stay true to form and keep eating, huh? Here's to a healthy appetite courtesy of remembering the past. The old memory rewind. All right, now in reverse. Let's moonwalk. What are you doing? You're my royal guard. You have to join me. Now do as I do. Moonwalk it to Umiyushi. Interesting. Tagged along with Suomitsu and had another beef bowl. Ooh, I can go with the beef bowl right now. After eating, I parted ways with Suomitsu and went back to the dorm. Welcome back. Probably already know this, but the next full moon will be on Tuesday of next week. Really? Fascinating. This is the first time I've been hearing about this. Why has no one told me? 
man. You think they would have brought this up like a while ago, like, you know, letting me know that the full moon's coming up. It's only been like, what, the 60th time someone's told me? I'm sure some kind of shadow will show up. Please be ready. Okay. Um. Can I help you? Let's talk. By the way. Next full moon. Oh, Jesus Christ. Honestly, I have no idea what to expect for this coming battle. We have, just have to be ready for anything. Better to play it safe. Gotcha. Uh, sorry, Junpei. I'm going to watch some movies with Akiko. Yep. Let's watch. Yes. In this fight, each side had one win and one loss. A serious all-or-nothing match. And the fact that they were lifelong rivals only helped them push each other to the top. Do you have anyone you'd consider a rival? I think so. <laughs> well, good. Make sure you don't lose to them. They must be pretty good if they're on your radar. Tana makes me want to see how I'd fare against them. Anyways, you'd have to be really lucky to find a partner like that. All the athletes from the other schools avoid me. So it's tough finding an opponent to spar with. And uh, I don't think a long-time childhood friend is quite the same thing as a rival. But hey, the world is a big place. I'll just keep polishing my skills until I find the right person. <laughs> Sorry, we were supposed to be relaxing, but I just ended up talking the whole time. Let's do this again. I'll put on some real good matches then. I feel like my courage has improved from watching these two rivals clash. Nice. I didn't notice the time. Before you go to sleep, you want to crack a raw egg for some protein first? You know, I've never tried that, just trying a raw egg. Can't imagine it'd be good for you. Probably got a lot of, uh, you can potentially get some kind of disease, I think, from raw eggs. But hey, apparently it's really good for you. No school today. It's almost time for the home shopping show. It's a mate. I'm going to do it. Taste the office snack set. Take a much need a break from your hectic work life. Good, good. Good. First up, we have the Yabba chocolate. Ed, you get three of them. Our employees eat this all the time, too. Oh my goodness, it's wonderful. But wait, there's more. Not bad, kid. We'll throw in this doctor and jelly, too. Guess how many? Three! All this just for 3,980 yet. Yeah, let's do it. Thanks, kid. Thanks, kid. Actor activity Bye -bye. sets for next time. All right. So, so this is a uh, Bunkichi, yep. Nozumi and the Port Island Station. So I'm waiting to see if uh, this guy actually shows up here. He's not here yet today either. Talked to this kid last time, Amada. Oh, hello. Hello. You all come to the shrine quite often, huh? Well, me too, I guess. Why do you come here? No. No specific reason. I just feel like I can relax here. Still, it's kind of a weird place for a kid to relax. Are you sure you're in, you're in elementary school? I have to leave soon, though, since I left in the middle of doing my homework to come here. Okay, uh, I guess we'll keep talking to uh, Maya. Hi. We're just two days away from the next full moon. I still have no idea what kind of battle we should expect. Let's try to prepare ourselves for the best we can. Better safe than sorry. <gasps> Is it uh, Featherman again? On the next episode of Phoenix Ranger Featherman R. Episode 20, Married Life. 
the Fed. We interrupt this broadcast for an important announcement. The missing elementary school girl has been found. However, her slack expression indicates that she may have fallen victim to apathy syndrome. I mean, I kind of want to know more about the marriage episode, but... Tatsuya! Fine, uh, we'll talk to fucking Maya. Naga. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Listen, Tatsuya. Nowadays, I just log on to MMOs with bedhead and all, like today, lol. But when I was little, people said it was a real. I was a real cutie. Guess I missed my chance, right? Nobody thinks I'm hot anymore. Do men only want younger women? Be honest. Uh, age isn't the point. I'm gonna say age isn't the point. That's what I'm talking about. You really get me. What's really important is true love. But I think I tend to like them on the younger side too, though. Maya seems very happy. By the way, am I making any sense? I hope so, because I teach composition. Okay, I'll be calm. I'll compose my bitching carefully for you. One of my co-workers is really pissing me off. I'm trying to avoid her. We used to teach the same grade and we're all... Uh, we were together all the time. It's been a while, but that kind of thing sticks with you, you know? Anyway, she said she needed some advice, but then she started bragging. Some student asked her out, and a guy she doesn't like proposed to her. Ugh. I'm not jealous. I'm just... It's just so freaking annoying. OMG. I hate skaky hoes like her. Just give the puppy dog eyes and guys will do whatever. She even stuffs her bra, lol. Uh, she, um, what? I'm afraid you know too much now, Tatsuya. But that's right, she's got fake tits. Ha 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 ha. Okay, for real though, keep this between you and me. <laughs> Maya seems to be enjoying herself. I swear, oh my god. I saw Miss K running in late one time, right? And uh, her pads fell down and it looked like she had four. <laughs> oh, they're fake for sure. My school is full of teachers like that. Man, Tatsuya, talking to you is better than getting a massage. Blush. Completing online is an important part of my days off. Maya seems to like talking to me. I guess. By the way, the, the student going out with the teacher, that's obviously uh, Kenji. I'm supposed to be fighting demons from hell, right? But after what I just said, I might go to hell anyway. Well, I rented some DVDs, so later, Tatsuya. Thanks for chatting. <laughs> Can you imagine running so hard that like your pads just like fall out? Oh, man. I didn't realize you were already here. I mean, it looks like you're the only one. Oh. Hmm. wonder what the next shadow will be like. I bet it'll be stronger than the other ones so far. Is anyone up here? Yeah. It's a vending machine. Hmm. Two days left. Don't slack on your training until the last minute, okay? I know people sometimes feel like they've hit their limit. But for most people, that's just an excuse. In reality, they've just given Isn't up. That right? No matter how much you're suffering, pushing through pushing through it is the only path to real progress. No way. Shadows just keep getting stronger, huh? Even if we train harder, it's always gonna end up a close match, right? Reality is harsh, man. <laughs> what if we hit our limit one day and get our asses kicked? That'd be totally lame. I mean, we will hit a limit one day. I think it's level 99. Hmm. I've already read most of the books here. Or are you here to look for a book too? The ones in this section are a little difficult though. Reading together with Mitsuru might help improve my academics. Hmm? 
Do you have a book to read? If you'd like, I could lend you something from my collection. Not now. I see. Um, I just thought of something. We haven't used the computer in a while. Is there anything left? Type in Google and revenge site note. Right. You know what? Let's do the academic stuff, because why not? Um, and then after the after the exams, we'll read those notes. Mm -hmm. uh, did you need something? Actually, I'm wondering if we'll have time. Fuck it. We're okay on academics anyway. Let's um let's do the site first. Let me see what this URL leads to. The revenge website. This must be the site from those rumors. There are all kinds of request posts in here. Redacted. I know he's always talking about me behind my back. I hate it. I want revenge. The hate-filled posts pleading for revenge go on and on. Bearing witness to the ugly side of humanity has strengthened my resolve. Oh, courage? Yeah, look at that. Yeah. What's up? Tomorrow's a big day. For what? Yeah. I got butterflies on my stomach. You know, like right before a big match. Now I know how Sonata Sun feels before he gets in the ring. Uh... Don't you kind of get anxious before a full moon? Can't stop thinking about it. At least that makes class go by a lot faster. Let's see if there's anything going on. Nope. Heading to practice? Oh come on, don't give me that look. I'm fine. Uh, I feel like I might grow closer. Perfect. Yeah. Nice, let's get pumped up. Today's gonna be the day I beat you. seem slower lately yeah he's not keeping his usual pace he thinks he'll make it to the nationals like that if you guys have nothing better to do why don't you give me a hand with the laundry Ugh, the only thing they're good at is kicking up dirt yeah hey cause coach wants to see you in the office okay be right there. <sighs> hey. Uh, never mind. <laughs> I think we can wrap up practice for today. Went back to the dorm after practice. Hey! Let's walk home together. Sure. But pe won't people talk? You know how scandalous people get. So, the coach told me my performance has been slipping. I know you didn't say anything. I just think he can tell something, so. How's your knee? It's sore, sure, but I managed to make it through practice today. He said I'd be suspended from the team if I'm hurt, but I told him I was fine. I've already missed practice three times this year. I'm gonna have to seriously step up my game. Otherwise, I won't be able to keep my promise to my nephew. Uh...
I'm kind of debating between you have to get tougher and you can't win like this. I think you can't win like this is the better thing to say. Uh, you're right. Yeah. Fallen way behind by missing practice anyway. I've decided that I'll take my chances for my nephew's sake. Even if I mess up my knee for the rest of my life. If that happens, I want you to be the next captain. Miyamoto opened up about his decision. I feel like we're becoming closer. It's uh, not exactly the happiest topic. That's just the worst case scenario. I'm gonna keep my promise, win the meet, then the nationals. Then I'll take care of money. Nothing can stop me now. I walk part of the way home with Miyamoto. Looks like the product I ordered uh, has arrived. You have a chocolate and doctor in jelly? Welcome back. What's up, dude? Tomorrow's the day. If we lose, the city gets overwhelmed with a loss, right? We gotta win this no matter what. You down for a hit in Tartarus later? I wanna pack on some muscle. Oh. oh, that's right. For tomorrow, I think I'll have you stand by the dorm just, uh, just in case. So if there are preparations you need to make, please take care of them today. Uh, okay, let's see what these things do. Doctor and Jelly cures uh, one ally of okay, all that stuff. Calming chocolate cures one ally. Okay, all right, yeah, why not? Oh yeah! It's almost the full moon. Anyways, just leave everything to me. I'll take out the enemy in the blink of an eye. Oh man, I'm so pumped. I sure hope I can get some sleep tonight. Hello. Tomorrow, my hypothesis will be put into the test. Shadow will appear during the full moon. It's all quite exciting for a researcher such as myself. By the way. So the full moon's nearly here. Yeah, things are about to get exciting. Can't wait to see what we're taking on. Tanabata, or the Star Festival tomorrow. Many of the wishes hung up are requests that apathy syndrome be finally eliminated. That's Kind of sad, actually. As we know, it won't. I'm not picking up any signs of a shadow related to tomorrow's full moon. Looks like we'll just have to wait until it appears tomorrow. Okay, so I think I'll do... Yes. Mitsuru's thing. If you're free, why don't you join me for some tea? I'm planning to change things up this time. I can sense Mitsuru's quiet determination. She might gain a new ability soon. Before I start bringing the tea, there's something I want you I want to do. Would you like to join me? I'll think about it. I see. Um, I'm going to go to Polona Mall. Maybe check up on some uh, the uh, the armor and stuff. Want to know something cool? You know this place is called the Polonia Mall, right? We know how I got that name. I don't. A Polonia is a type of plant, and part of the Kirijo name comes from the character for Polonia tree. Since this place is under the ownership of the Kirijo group, that's how it was named. Get it? I may look like a slacker or a salary man, but I know some surprising things. That's interesting. Gosh, it's getting hot again. This kind of heat calls for some Aujiru Sorbet. It's a product I tried pushing once, but it didn't sell. Apparently people only use it for dares. But enough of that. Take your time and do some browsing. <coughs> okay, so what I need... Here's charm, poison. This is what I need. Um, it's best to rest up after taking some meds. They aren't something you, know you take to push yourself even harder. I'll actually Already? wait. Thanks. Because yeah, Saturday is when he gets is when he gets the discount. But the police is actually today. Oh yeah. This money's from the salaryman who went missing. 
couldn't make out the full picture from questioning him, but you're the ones who saved him, right? Please can't accept gifts, so this is yours. Use it wisely. 40,000! There's still more. Think of it. They found that missing girl the other day. I tried questioning her, but her answers didn't make any sense. She said some kids saved her from an attack by a black thing. Much obliged. She left a reward with us, so I'll hand it over to you. Black quartz. Good to see you. I don't have that much, but you should be able to find what you need. What'd you break? Let's sell this stuff. Uh, Fourteen thousand. Right. Guys, we're swimming in money. Uh huh. Uh, running a little sale today. See if anything catches your eye. Okay, so that's... I mean, the accuracy goes up, but I will be losing heav heavily on the attack. Pleiades. A short bow that is light as a feather for Yukari. People have been using um, bows as weapons since ancient times. It's also where terms like bullseye and such originated from. All-purpose katana. Luck to lightweight sword that can be used for a variety of ways. No. Beast fangs. Plus 10 HP. Weaponized gloves for spurs for beast fangs. Uh, I'll be losing 11 attack for 10 HP. I don't know. I don't think that's worth it. Order pike. Okay. So, no on the weapons. Let's check what armor. What are you looking for? Traditional martial arts uniform permitted to only to masters. Resist the stress. The number of apathy syndrome cases is growing. Better be ready for anything. Everything look good here? Great. Yeah, Sully buy an works. equip. Got some new things in stock. Check it out, if you've got the time. Everything look good? All right, then. Yeah, sell it. Everything look good here? Take Wait. your time. Oh, Everything my. Good. It's all yours. Equip. Um. Resist charm. Um, sell it. Everything great. It's all yours. Equip and sell. Yep. And then the sh footwear. Uh, take as long as you need. Electricity evasion. Everything. Seven second thoughts. Uh, yeah. Great. It's all Equip. yours. And then sell that. Akiko is the only one that has better boots for some reason. It's all yours. Sell. Now what you want? Right then. Now what you want? It's all yours. Well, let take as long as you need. Confuse boost, distress boost, fear boost. Okay. Oh, if there was one plus ten s uh, plus twenty sp, I would totally buy that. There's an air of panic in the streets lately. What'd you bring? How many? You're handing that. Sure, it's a deal. Yeah, we'll keep those. What'd you bring? Uh, how many? Your hand? Sure. It's how many? Sure. Sure. How many? Your hand? All right. I'll take that. Yeah, that's pretty good. How many? Sure. Sure. It's a your hand? Sure. It's a deal. Alright, I'll take that. How many? You're in. Alright, I'll take that. How many are you sure? sure. It's How many? Alright, I'll take that. You 
Hmm? You finished? Be yeah. seeing you. Spent a lot of money, but I also got a lot of money. Let's see if there's anything new with Elizabeth. No. Well, maybe. Marvelous. I'm looking. Are you accepting a request? No. Never mind. Very well. Okay, so let's head back to the dorm. Yes. Okay. Let's do Thank it. Thank you. Today, I'd like to make a snack food that would pair well with tea. And that said, I'm not terribly well versed in the art of cuisine. So I'm hoping to make some simple karumeyaki. Did your teachers ever show you how to make it? I think so. Excellent. Then I don't need to explain. All right, let's get started. Temperature control is key. We want to turn off the heat right before it hits 130 degrees Celsius. Oh, we should keep things moving. Let's put the sugar in the ladle first. I cook karam karume yaki with Mitsuru. What a nostalgic flavor. It may not require hours in the kitchen, and the taste isn't particularly complex, but I'm quite fond of these. And more than anything, it's nice that we can make it ourselves. You know, when I saw this for the first time, I thought it was like magic. I've tried making it myself a number of times, but I ended up burning it on every attempt. I guess you could call it a bittersweet memory. But I didn't give up. I continued practicing. And that's finally led to our success today. What do you think? That's so inspiring. That was actually inspiring. Hearing you say that makes me glad to have shared it. Back home, there were plenty of opportunities to host formal dinners and tea parties, but I never considered it particularly admirable to have someone else prepare the extravagant dishes. Doing the cooking myself also allows me to talk with you like this. And isn't that sort of familiarity the key to understanding each other better? I think this might have been what I was missing. Instead of complaining about being difficult to approach, I needed to create an opportunity for change. By cooking this nostalgic dish, Mitsuru seems to have learned something new about herself. Ailment burst increases critical rate on foes with ailments. With Mitsuru in battle. Hmm. Okay, all right. It's fascinating the kind of things you learn by simply inviting someone over for tea. Thank you. I hope we can talk again like this sometime. Oh, right. I had a favor to ask. There's still some sugar and baking soda left. Do you think you could help me make another batch? Karumeyaki keeps for a long time. This could be a good chance to make some for the others. After making some karameyaki with Mitsuru, I'm back to my room. All right, it's fight night. Good morning. How are you feeling? Perfect. <laughs> that's really reassuring. I guess that's why you're the leader. Why does everyone keep saying that? I guess that's why you're the leader. By the way, we're going to have a quick meeting about the operation tonight. So please return to the dorm immediately after school. Yes, ma'am. Probably should have saved beforehand, but oh well. There'll be a powerful. There'll be a full moon tonight. A powerful shadow may appear. I should return to the dorm and prepare myself. I thought we were having the meeting before the dark hour. Any luck, Fuka? Just a moment. I found it. I'm picking up a large shadow in the city. Hey, you were right. 
Yes, it seems like our full moon hypothesis was correct. It's located in Iwatodai, inside a building on Shirakawa Boulevard. Hmm, Shirakawa Boulevard. They've been finding the lost in pairs lately. Now I understand why. In pairs? Oh, now I understand. What's on Shirakawa Boulevard? I'm not familiar with that area. I've heard about it, but... Oh, that's where all those hotels are. That explains a lot. You've heard about them, right, Fuka? Where people go to... You know. What? Ornicate. What's wrong with you? Come now, don't let your imaginations get carried away. They're no different from any other hotel. The rooms are just a bit more... Exotic. That's all. Oh, really? I don't know about this. Maybe I shouldn't go. Ah, look at you, Yukatan. You're such a child sometimes. He has a point. <laughs> what? Who are you calling a child? All right, fine. Let's go. I'm reserving a spot in the lineup for today's operation. No objections. What, you could just do that? <laughs> so, who's going to take the lead? I don't see any reason to change leaders now. All right. Yamagishi, I want you to handle support during the operation. I'll do my best. All right. Go ahead and decide on the rest of the team. Let's do this. Um... I want to take you. Don't get overconfident. Let's go together. Leave it to me. Can I take her off? Nope. I'm going no matter what. Uh, stay on standby for now. No, I'm not going to send in the sidelines today. I'm going. Yeah, you can't. Let's see what he yes. says. Don't worry. I know you can do it. Just be careful. Well, you'd be better off. Uh, I'll take Mitsuru. Do not be distracted by your surroundings. Focus on your objective. We're here to defeat shadows. Let's go together. Main reason I'm taking her and not Junpei uh, is because I unlocked her other characteristic. And I want to take Akihiko because he's got, like, uh, strength. He's got, like, bashing in case I need it. Um, and he's also got uh, healing ability as well. Junpei does not. Uh, okay, yes. so Fuka, are you ready? Commence operation. I'll get ready to provide support so you can head on over. Whoa, looks just like I imagined. Champs de Fleurs? How do you say that? Champ de Fleurs. It's Champ de Fleurs. It means field of flowers. This is the place. I can sense the presence inside. Then come on, leader. Let's get this over with. I'm detecting a major presence upstairs. It has to be our target. It's hiding in a larger room on the third floor. Head that way and track it down. Ooh, nice music. This might be a guest of the hotel. It's not working. We'll just have to take the stairs. Signal's coming from the large room on the third floor. Let's speed it before someone gets hurt. So I can't even go in the other rooms. Salut. There's no time to relax. It's crucial that we eliminate target. We'll all do haste. Hey there. Signal's coming from the third floor, isn't it? Shouldn't we go deal with the shadow? All right, fine. Hey, I saw a big door back there. Maybe we should check it out. Um. 
here. I sense a large presence behind that door. Are you ready? Uh, not yet. Let's explore real quick. It's not that one. Are there any large rooms? So, I have to go in that room. Then what's the point? I think I saw a big door earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Now we can check it out afterwards. Uh, yeah, I guess we're ready. This thing's the boss? <laughs> it's more normal looking than I expected. How is that normal looking? Get ready, everyone. Here it comes. Those are some big ass boobs, man. This large shadow is of the Hierophant Arcana. We don't know what it'll do. Let's see. Be ready for anything. Um, what to do? Let's try dark. Nope. What next? Help me. The best bet would be let's go. Shall I move to strike? Medium chance of distress. How about this? So it's weak to light, okay. So that means it does light attacks. Um, I'll keep him. Let's try Pierce. fire and we didn't try light um situation confuse i guess keep doing good damage this work increases one foe's attack yeah let's do that And defense. Didn't say doctrine. Wait, I need to get out, isn't it? Fucked with fear. That skill seems to instill fear in its opponents. You'll be paralyzed if you succumb to the fear. Don't push yourself and try to calm down. Courageous, I can't do anything right now. Uh um I think I need like uh what is it, Patra or something like that? Fortunately I don't have anything. So pull the trigger. Fuck. This fear for one ally. Uh is there one that does it for all allies? You know what? and regroup.
Sorry, I'm not talking a lot. I'm uh, just trying to focus on the on the fight. Uh, let's do this. I'm ready. And Raccoon. my thing no it doesn't here we go Courageous, I can't do anything right now let's do this all right here I go and with this you're finished <laughs> Very nice. Um, and we'll lose the last one on her, I guess. The enemy's striking fear into you. Someone might die. Let's go. Take that. One last touch. Nice. Another senpai's too scared to move. One step at a time. Let's go. What's the plan here? How about a trick? Nice work, guys. Very nice work. Sucks we had to keep using those dis, uh, dis spheres, but hey, that's what they're there for, right? To use them. We did it! The enemy's been defeated. Great work, everyone. I'll be waiting outside for you. Okay. Are you? Stupid. It's all such poor taste. Seriously, who'd want to sleep in a place like this? The door won't budge. Strong force seems to be holding it shut. Um. No way. Why? I still sense a shadow in that room. Huh? huh? But we just... It's not the same one from before. But where is it hiding? The shadow should be in this room, right? We have to find it. 
Okay. Let's Heart shaped see. chair. Nothing. We'll just have to keep checking everything. The the bed will be the obvious thing. Not here, huh? I'd like to put an end to this already. <sighs> Check the bathroom. Doesn't look like it's in there. Let's keep looking. Check the glass. <sighs> I'm not seeing anything. We just have to turn every stone. <laughs> Nothing about this seems terribly out of the ordinary. Hmm. Think it could be in there? There aren't really any places it could hide in there, though. Huh? Oh, look at this. This is it. Hey, is it just mirrors? There's something weird about this mirror. That's funny. <laughs> the fuck is going on? Where am I? My head feels foggy. Can't remember why I'm here. What was I doing? I feel like I'm forgetting something important. I can hear the shower running in the bathroom. Embrace your desire. There's a strange voice I'm ringing inside my head. I am the voice of your inner self. Revel in the moment. That which cannot be felt is merely a dream. The present is all we have. Uh, that's not true. The future is but a fantasy. Memory of fabrication. Let your desire free you from your shackles. Such is your wish. I can't give in. Pleasure is what you truly seek. You stand before the doorway to bliss. You cannot deny your instincts. Embrace your desire. I'll pass. I'll pass. Ah, I'm good. My mind is getting clearer. Seems like something was trying to manipulate my thoughts. Someone turned off the shower in the bathroom. Oh, hi. What was I... That was a call for. Seems like Yukari's thoughts were being manipulated as well. I can finally reach you. Can you two hear me? I I uh what's going on? I'm sorry I couldn't contact you sooner. The shadow was interfering with your thoughts, so I couldn't reach you. Looks like you two got teleported away as well. The group's all been separated. The enemy is still in the same room. Let's regroup and then head back there. Did you hear that, Yukari-chan? Yeah, I heard you. Um, did something happen? It's fine. Come on, let's go. And how about we don't mention this to anyone? Got it? Sorry, I only sensed the one shadow. And I hate to bear more bad news on top of this, but... The barrier has gone up within the building. You won't be able to reach it this way. <laughs> so we can blame that shadow for getting us trapped down here. I'm gonna try and find a way to break this barrier. In the meantime, please reconvene on the second floor. Okay, it looks like we can go into the rooms now. This was just a normal mirror, right? Wasn't there something weird about the one before? I don't know, was there? Hey, listen. <laughs> There's no time to be putting your feet up. 
Check the glass. I can see the bathroom through the window. Hey, what are you staring at that for? The scent of soap is still lingering from the bathroom. What are you... There's no reason for us to be here. Let's go. Yukari doesn't look very happy. Uh, what do you say, Yukari? Uh, it's a nice bed, isn't it? Anything over here? There's a chair behind the curtain. Hey. Alright. Set upstairs. Hey. So you guys were one for below, huh? Hmm. Didn't expect another one to be there. Anyway, you took him out of it all right? Uh, we're fine. Oh. Yeah, nothing weird on our end. Um. Oh, could it be? I get it, it's the mirrors. The readings from the mirrors in the guest room seems to be resonating with the main shadow. If we can destroy those mirrors, then maybe we'll be able to break the barrier. All right. All right, so what rooms are these mirrors in? I sent something from rooms 204 and 205. Try heading to those two rooms first. Okay. Um. There's something weird about the mirror in the room where the shadow was in. Something's blocking the door from opening. Possibly a coffin in the room. By the way. I checked there myself a short while ago. It's locked. Item. There's something here. Oh, cool. Transmogrifer. Hmm. This person might catch a cold sleeping here like this, but I guess we can't exactly move them. So there's no one on the beds? Okay. Um. Well, there's a mirror, so we just break it, right? Alright then, time to end this hoax. I'm sorry. Wait, hold on. Signal's close, but I'm not entirely certain that this is the right mirror. Could you check the other room too, just in case? That's a good point. Better to be safe than sorry, so let's cover all our bases first. Okay. Looks like a bathroom. So this one's not showing our reflection. I guess that's the difference. Oh. Okay, there's the mirror. Oh, wait, there's something different about this one compared to the other one. You sure? It looks the same to me. You notice anything? Our reflections. Yeah, that's right. Now you mention it, this mirror is reflecting everything but us. Yeah, looking back on it, I think it's the same thing as the mirror in the in the room with the shadow was in. There's definitely something up with the mirror that reflects everything except people. We can't know for sure if this is the right one, but do you want to try breaking it and see? Break it. All right. I knew it. Now we should be able to get to the shadow, right? Um. Huh? Actually, the seal's still intact, but that should have... Don't panic. Can you pick up any similar signals? Let me see. Huh? Got it. I'm getting a signal from Mirror on the third floor. And we just have to break that one too, right? Fuka, can you tell us which room it's in? Sorry, I can't pinpoint the exact location. There's too much interference on the main signal. Guess we'll just have to go and find another mirror that doesn't show our reflection. It should be inside one of the rooms on the third floor. Good luck. Alright, let's do it. I don't know why, this music reminds me of Persona 5's music. I think it just got kind of more of a bouncy, jazzy vibe to it. Later. You decide which mirrors we break. I mean, yeah. Oh. La la. Hey. So many guests are there. Gotta take care of business ASAP. So 
this one shows our reflection. Mm, nothing sparkling in here. Okay. <clears throat> 301. Nope. Mad Bull. Nice. So this one shows our reflection. This one looks like it's good. Oh. Muscle drink. Very nice. So it's got to be in this room. It's not a very big hotel. Oh my god. Uh, you can, you can let's get going, okay? These guys are having a lot of fun. Uh, nothing for me to pick up here, it looks like. There we go. What should I do with this mirror? Break it! The main signal is completely gone. The seal should be broken right. now. Excellent. Then the target's room should be accessible now. Still, we're behind schedule. Let's move. Okay. Shadow is waiting behind the store. Are you ready? Uh, hold on. Let me check everyone's status. Um, let's just do a quick heal for everyone. Uh, apparently I cannot. Why is there no RB? Alright. Let's do it. So it was you. I'll teach you not to mess with a girl's heart. We'll get it this time. I believe in you, team. So what was the other one we fought then? Uh, okay. I'm guessing this one will charm. I'll never forgive you for that! This one's from the Lover's Arcana. It's the source of the mind manipulation. I'm ready anytime. This thing's got a lot of life. Um, I'm still setting up. It'll take a little more time. I'll go with. Mm, let's try fire since. No fire. I'm ready. Go for it. We'll do this first. So resistance to lightning. Okay. Oof. The enemies charmed you. Please, we're on your side. Take some serious damage. Watch out! It's dangerous to get hit by that attack while you're charmed. Please support each other while. In this situation. All right. So he's not charmed anymore. Never mind. Could I scan on this enemy? Yeah. I see. So this is what we're up against. Okay. What to do? Wait, what, what kind of... This one. So we don't know what kind of damage it does. It doesn't look like you have the right skills.
I don't think it's going to do any lightning damage. Um, whatever. Let's... Wait, what does that do? Cures, poison down, dizzy. Might as well. This will do the trick. Okay, so we want to I'll decrease see. that. One step at a time. And then we want to do that. Else is new. Pull the trigger. Some fun. Persona. I'll go with. Persona. Shall I move to strike? Yeah, it's resistant to lightning. Fuck. I gotta remember that. Aw, oh, fuck you. Now's the time. There's the time. Uh, me I'll hit them where it hurts. This one. This be good. This mist. Please be careful. That mist can hypnotize you. I have to do this. Help me. Appreciate that helps. To do. Come. That didn't hit. My dear G. Yes, please. Use it now. The radiant light of life shine upon us all. What's the plan here? Go for it. Head back to Leia. Fuck, I know I should have. Where are you aiming? What's oh, this weird feeling? And it's only small amounts. Oh shit! Try hard. Oh thank God. Please, we're on your side. What next? There's Luna. I'll go with. Come. I'll hit them where it hurts. Sorry, I'm not saying anything, guys. It's um, it's gonna win this. just uh, trying to focus. But I think I got down a rhythm with this guy. He just has a lot of health. Now's the time. Um, yeah. And I want to try and keep healing with her, just so we can raise her uh, thirgy. Thanks. 
work to do. Well, that stuff reverted, unfortunately. That's okay. Do better watch out. It's gonna win this. the big heal. That's okay. I won't lose. What to do? You give me some Getting started. Sonata Senpai is looking intense. Do I have anyone who blocks? Yeah, I do. All right. And he does. Yeah. I'll do my theurgy. It looks like you're distressed. Shall I move to strike? Yeah. Go, 
you trying to hit me? What's this weird feeling? Plan here. Persona! Nice. Kanito Senpai is distressed! And now, it's over! You're distressed. Now's the time. There's Sona! I'll go with Prince of Power! Nice. I'm ready. Okay. Let's fuck this fucker up. I don't think we're going to cause the stress on this thing. Um... Okay. That's fine. I won't do a lot of damage. In this situation... Ooh, okay. Think I can use it now. Sure, why not? Beauty. Uh, Prince of Power. Nice. Fuck yeah, baby. Nice. Okay. I've gained a new power. Increases party's attack. Against, uh, okay. So I can use it uh, in the next battle. So I could just use it. And cost uh, SP. A lot of SP. But hey. I'm glad you're all safe. Excellent work. The enemy was clever, but you came out on top. Thank you. You did good too, Takeba. It's no wonder you volunteered. Uh, yeah, <laughs> right. And you as well. You were able to remain calm during the enemy's mental assault. Maybe you're finally starting to recognize yourself as a leader. Keep up the good work. Oh, come on, Junpei. Don't be like that. Our team survived another dangerous fight. Feels like the level of trust between us all has grown. Rank 4. Alright, let's call it a night. Oh, Yukari-chan. Um, about that thing you mentioned the other day. You found something? I yes. Okay, tell me about it later. All right, we should head back too. Hey, come on, Junpei, let's go. Fuka played a big role in this one again. Seems like the second years are really putting in the work. Looks like you're really shining out there, dude. We all did our part. Really now. Well. Whatever, I guess. Don't tell me you're jealous someone else is getting all the attention. Shut up! What's his problem? We successfully defeated the Shadows this month, too. Should be fewer victims for a while. 
But I'm too exhausted to think about all that right now. I should hurry back to the dorm and get some rest. That was faster than I expected. Quite a show, I must admit. They've been rather busy these last few months, haven't they? And it seems they've gained new recruits, too. Their fighting style is most fascinating. Not to mention they've made several forays into the tower. Well, Jin, are they our enemy? How about we go ask our buddy? Gonna be seeing him real soon. Ah, yes. An excellent idea. Considering that he shares our fate, it would be prudent to seek his opinion. After all, we don't have much time left. Wonder who they are. We know one of them's called Jin, the intelligent boy. But they're awake during the dark hour. Hey there. It's almost summer break. Let's go somewhere for vacation. Yeah, I want to go to the sea, the mountains, everywhere and anywhere. But first, we've got finals starting on Tuesday. What? Ugh, oh, I'd forgotten about that. At least we have a break after the exams this time. Summer vacation is just around the corner. We have finals starting next week. Pay close attention, alright? Let's see here. Final start next Tuesday. Jeez, we just had an exam. What a pain. You know, you're not the one that's through the fucking exams. It's the kids. They'll talk about what a pain it is. Maybe pain isn't the right word. English phrases can be pretty tricky. Now let's talk about comma splices. I'm sure you all, you've all heard them before, but just to be clear, a comma splice is when two independent clauses are incorrectly joined by a comma instead of a con conjunction. What's up? Here's a question for you all. Dun dun dun! Yuki kun! Where is the comma splice found in the following sentence? Because it is 10 30 right now, we will not reach the theater in time. It's already started to my dismay. Uh, between started and two, I think. Nope. Is the accurately. Use comma is between time and it's, is it? Why? We will not use, we will not reach the theater in time. It's already started. You can totally use a comma there. Regardless of how logical the sentence flow may appear, a comma cannot be used to link two independent clauses. That's a comma splice. Got it? No. You could definitely put a comma there. Well, if no one has any questions, let's move on. Finals are a lot harder than midterms, you know. That doesn't necessarily mean I'll study harder. But we'll see. Sometimes the extra effort pays off. Right, it's almost time for exams again. But this time it'll be a lot tougher. Better go to the library and study. Otherwise you'll be screwed. Yeah. Oh, whoops. Um, yeah, I'll spend the evening time to study. See, what kind of dances, uh, oh, we already heard this guy. I already read that stuff. Okay, so it's Wednesday. Oh, no, it's Saturday, the pharmacy. Uh, does she have some new stuff? Accepting a request? No. Probably. 
Very well. Uh, when she calls saying the barrier has been lifted for the next area. Huh? Well, hey, perfect timing. Do you want to get something to eat? I can hear my poor stomach crying in anguish. Sure. Yes. Wonderful, my gourmet friend. Let's see. Last time we ascended to a juicy paradise. Yes. I know just where to go next. Restaurant is filled with the familiar smell of fish. <laughs> that enough appetizers? Excuse me, sir. Two bowls of the usual today. And as always, make sure one of them is extra large. Coming right up. Our bowls were replaced with two new fresh ones. Once you taste this, my friend, there is no going back. Ton, ton, ton noodles. Yes, that's three. Count them. Three tons. This is the crown jewel of the secret menu here. Even better than the Hagakure bowl. The simple salt-based broth complemented by the rich, spicy miso sauce. It's like a microcosm of the miracle of creation. Mm, I love miso sauce. Wow. The incredible flavor melts away my troubles. It's all about that secret menu. Although, how will people find it if it's too secret? Eh, whatever. The harder I think about it, the hungrier I'm gonna get. Oh, sir! Don't toss out that first bowl, all right? That soup and I have unfinished business. This is a huge honor for you, you know? You're only the second person to taste this after me. Don't forget to blow on the noodles to cool them off. I can really feel Suomatsu's kindness. I feel like our relationship is getting stronger. Man, I'm really hungry. What a lucky guy you are. I mean, you get to be friends with me. And just so you know, you wouldn't be getting this with my younger brother. Because the Gourmet King's brother is not the Gourmet King. So... Do you get me, hmm? Who am I? Go on, I want to hear it come out of your mouth. Let's indulge him. My word, not so loud. Are you trying to embarrass me? Here, have some of my boiled egg. I had a couple of bites, but it's still good. Then no more talking. The food's going to be a chewy, flavorless mess if we don't eat up. Sir, sir. You save that first bowl, right? Because I'm going to be needing it. So Mitsu and I finished our ramen and I went back to the dorm. Oh, welcome back. Sorry, I need to talk to Fuka. About what? Uh, oh, um, there's something I have to clear up. Um, I'm sure you're burnt out, uh coming right off an operation. You know, it might do you good to just rest today. Okay. Come to think of it, the crops I planted on the rooftop should be ready to harvest by now. Yep, I'll check on them in a minute. Yo. Mitsuru's not here, so we're skipping Tartarus tonight. Just take it easy for now. Hey. What, were you gonna order me around, oh high mighty leader? Tch, whatever. I can be just as good as you, too. You know what? How about you go fuck yourself? How about that? For our next story, mysterious vandalism has occurred at the Hotel Champ de Fleur. Mirrors of multiple hotel rooms were shattered. Though the hotel had many guests, none of them saw the culprit. Some guests have also reported theft in their rooms. <laughs> From the items I took. <laughs> Police are currently investigating the incident. I wonder if they would have said that if I hadn't taken anything. That's really funny. Um, no, sorry. I want the rooftop. Looks like the produce can be harvested. Oh, tomato. Nice. Uh, don't plant. We got a lot of these now, eh? Run solo. Oh, these are tiny. Oh, if I'd done it with, um... What's her name? With Fuka, they would have been large. I 
Where is um the the guys have been showing up? The um, what is it called? The amazing commodities uh, host. Let's see if there is anything here. Nothing new with them. It's great dancing. Vain woman. Huh? Are you hitting on me? Sorry, the answer is no. You're a cute kid, but something's missing. If you're serious about getting into a relationship, you need to put more effort into it. I mean, we just met, and you're talking about relationships already. Dude, that rumor is just getting started. This time I hear it's about couples. The culprit must be a single guy. He's jealous of couples, see? But man, if I had that kind of power, I'd get myself a woman. Power is what you make of it, my friend. Uh, pretty caught up in the moment. She's going to be all right. Hey, listen to this. I did what Mama told me, and I made a real friend. This is so great. Maybe I should have my fortune told next time I'm in trouble. I, I keep forgetting to talk to the fortune person about uh, before I go to Tartarus. I want to know my fortune. Oh my, there's a haste surrounding the Tower of Shadow. Seems you won't be entering the tower tonight. Please return another day for your fortune. Learn all my future. Shadows within shadows. Many shadows crawl amidst the immense shadow. Twelve shadows feasting upon the heart of man. Monstrous yet dignified. They gather around you. Beware. Let us hope that you find your fortune and your destiny. Yeah. See if there's anything new here. If not, Come on in. Come I refuse to believe. That they will never restock again. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Is this only raised by one? I guess we'll see. Feel smarter now that I've had some brain food. I'm gonna raise this too. So then, why would I want the seafood platter if it's the same? It's it just costs more. You know, our campus is actually pretty clean and new. I only noticed after my club had to visit another school. My parents said that our school was rebuilt after an explosion 10 years ago. By the way... I also heard that the explosion wasn't the only reason. Around that time, a lot of students suddenly stopped coming to school. Maybe that's why they put up the new building. Start with a clean slate. Huh? <laughs> what do you think, there's a dark side to GeckoCon High? You watch way too much TV. Let's talk about the Heian hey hey era today. I won't spend a lot of time on this, so pay attention. In 794, the Heian Kyo was established. I'm sorry if I'm brutalizing these names. In 894, they abolished imperial embassies to China. I might put this section on the exam next week. I'm feeling lazy. Anyway, on to feudalism. Listen carefully, because this has to do with the origins of the samurai. And so... I choose you, Yuki. Let's see what you know. So the law permitting permanent ownership on newly cultivated lands served as a foundation for the development of feudalism. The law permitting permanent ownership of newly cultivated land served as a foundation for the development of uh, feudalism. Okay. Thanks to this decree, a lot of land was cultivated. At the same time, a serious problem arose for farmers. Do you remember what that was? Uh, 
Uh, I'm gonna say land invasion. No. Wrong. Social disparity. Fuck. Come on, you can do better than that. You're descended from the samurai. The work doesn't end after you plow the land. It costs a lot of money to build waterways and stuff on top of that. So the farmers with more wealth and authority could make more money by expanding their lands. On the other hand, those who weren't as affluent had no choice but to remain poor. It's the same old story throughout time. Well, that's it for the high-end period. Damn. What's up, Junpei? What? Huh? What do you want? Don't bug me if it's not important. I'm heading home now. Dude, chill. Um, let's check out Port Island Station first. Oh, hi. He's sweating a lot now, but he's usually not like that. That type of guy is pretty unpopular. Is pretty popular with the older ladies who work here. Evan remembers his face. I was surprised, to be honest. It's amazing how many people say hello to him at shops. The conversation died again. I keep sweating. Is it because of the heat, or is this a cold sweat? Oh, you tell me, bro. You tell me. The movie's theme song is very important. The quality of the movie is greatly affected by whether its theme song is any good or not. Which reminds me. Long ago, I heard there was going to be a Gekukan theme song. It was called, like, Gekukan Boogie or something like that. I heard it was nearly done. I want to hear how it turned out, but who the hell names their song Boogie? That's a good point. What's that guy say? The station is near the high school, so I often see Gekukan students and their friends. You seem to be alone a lot. Do you have any friends? I have plenty. Great. I wish I had some friends when I was in school. Oh, that's sad. So, is this bathroom ever going to be cleaned? I think someone just, like, died in there. Welcome. Take your Anything new? No. Oh, we still haven't, uh... Please. Done those. Yeah, meow? Yeah. I gotta find out what the deal is with that cat. Looks like those three weirdos have been snooping around here. Guess they're trying to hear the juicy stuff. Stuff you don't find out about in normal life. The whole reason I hang out here is to shoot the shit with my buds. Those three weirdos are the only ones who come here to try and learn stuff. They need to get a life. I'm wondering with the cat if it was a request by Elizabeth. I honestly can't remember. Uh, what's in Polonia? What's going on there? Oh, what's up, dude? Saw a girl in a fr white frilly dress the other day in front of the station. Don't get me wrong, I love that kind of outfit. I've got tons of figures dressed that way in my room, but in real life, I think it's better to dress casually. I mean, let people wear whatever the fuck they want. Um, no one at GekuCon. Okay. Guess uh, we're hanging out, bro. Munch munch burp. Hey there. Perfect timing. You want to get some neat? You hear my poor stomach crying miserably. He says as he's, you know, wolfing down two hot dogs. Spend some time. Yes. Wonderful, my gourmet friend. Our culinary adventure continues. Today we'll be going to Wakatsu. There's something for everyone on that menu. So for lunch, I had a melon pond, then a katsu sandwich. Then an agave pond, a kane pond, a yakisoba pond, apple strudel, another agave pond. But I gotta have my rice, too. I... I think that might have been... too many carbs. Today, a girl in my class asked me, Who's that cute guy you went to Umiyushi with? She wanted me to introduce you two so you could eat lunch together. Without me. The nerve. Girls always go for guys like you. Or my little brother. I guess looks really are everything. But once we're dead, 
will all just be bones. You can't tell a handsome skeleton from an ugly one. Uh, kind of, maybe. Uh, not again. Why do my memories make me so damn hungry? Hey, waiter, another tonkatsu special. While we wait for the food, let me share a little Sinryu poem I wrote. Please. He who cut you is no friend, but he who cuts you, you flavor until the end. Huh? Oh. Oh! My... My stomach! Emergency! That was beautiful. Whew. That was way too close. If that toilet was just a bit further away... Oh, boy. <laughs> what is it... <laughs> I was gonna say so, like, why this guy just doesn't wear like a fucking diaper or something with all the emergency he has, but uh, are you feeling sick? No, I'm fine. No worries. Everything's good and normal over here, except for my weight, that is. Ah, the gourmet king shouldn't say things like that. I, I didn't mean to be so crass. I mean, who wants to talk about toilets while they're eating? I keep saying toilet. Sorry, sorry. I can tell Suomitsu's trying to be considerate of me. Good. Good. Okay, enough of that. Let's shovel that food down. We have to eat every chance we get. Because once we're dead, all we'll be eating is dust. You know, just like my little brother. Ooh. After eating with Suomitsu, I'm back to the dorm. So I'm guessing his little brother's oh, dead. You. Welcome back. Feeling rested? There's still some time until the next full moon, and I while I wish I could tell you to take it slow, finals start next Monday, so I'd like you to care for your health and concentrate on your studies. Looks like they're having a cram session. Let's see what's on TV. Next, some good news. Natto has become surprisingly popular overseas. Called Miracle Beans in foreign countries, they sell five times what they do in Japan. A well-known Natto producer said, Good thing I kept making it. Good thing. Uh, let's just see if there's anyone up here. No. Okay, guess we'll start. Yeah. Came down to get a drink and got caught by Mitsuru, as you can see. Look. I'm not worried about Akihiko's grades. I'm more worried to run off and do some reckless training. And studying has the added benefit of preventing that possibility. <sighs> so here we are. Even though I'm mostly done studying for the exams, In that case. then why don't you overlook Yuki's studies? That is, if he's able to join us. Um, yeah, sure, please do. Let's why see. not? All right, sit down. I'll be your steady coach. Oh, I was hoping to go for another run after rehydrating. I believe you've done enough physical activity for one day. Any more and you'll hurt yourself. Fine. So, were there any subjects you needed help with? Uh, any tips for grasping formulas? Any tips for remembering kanji? Any tips for memorizing vocab? I guess formulas. Nothing beats using them in practice problems. Are you concerned about getting bored and losing focus? In that case, try a quick workout between problems. The brain perks up once you get the circulation flowing. Not to mention, looking forward to your next workout is a great way to stay motivated. In any case, I advise having a good workout ready to treat yourself with after a study session. It all comes down to making it a regular habit. Just a little each day really adds up. I wasn't going to say anything, but... Akihiko, working out isn't normally a reward for most people. On top of that, what good does it do to preach about long-term habits mere days before the exam? Hmm, I guess you have a point. In that case, how would you recommend cramming for it? 
It's not my usual style, but I would focus on memorizing material that is likely to be tested. If you give it your all, it shouldn't be too difficult. Easier than facing the enemy wholly unprepared, at least. Well, we can talk all night, but doing is where the magic happens. Here, let me give you some practice problems. Two of them continue giving me rigorous advice. Cool. You catch on quick. You immediately took what you learned and put it into practice. All you need now is some strength training and you'll be unstoppable. Once the exams are over, why don't we dive into Tartarus for a bit and get some workouts in? You never change. I'll need to continue keeping an eye on you to make sure you don't overdo it. <laughs> the more you study and the more you train, the better results you'll get. I look forward to seeing what you'll accomplish from here on. Sounds good. Let's call it here for today. I want to get some stretches in before heading to bed. Oh, Akihiko. Let's get on with today's lesson. Silence. Class is beginning. Uriel, Rilu, Ilili, Yulir, Leru. Just a quick preface. When I use the word magic, I mean it in a very general sense. Anyway, today's topic of magic is the magic of medieval Europe. I'll be giving a crash course on the single most magical place in time in recorded history. So, there are a lot of materials pertaining to Western magic, from printed books to co communal folklore. I'll co uh, cover all of it, including the changes European magic has seen since then. As I mentioned previously, European magic is, uh, finds its origin in paganism. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, actually. Starting with Christianity, though, it has been influenced by an influx of various cultures. Let's see, what are some well-known examples? There's Kabbalah, which is the esoteric study of mystical aspects of Jewish texts. There's also uh, Gnosticism, uh, a Christian sect founded by Simon Magus, the sorcerer. Greece's philosophy and nature of sciences were the fruits of magical researchers. And the same was true of Islam's scientific advances, which surpassed Europe's at the time. Now, as for the circumstances of magic in this age, it was an era where the rule of Christianity and the insight of natural sciences collided. Magicians bravely reached up for a connection with the gods. Say, are you still awake? You're not daydreaming, right? How about a test to see if you're paying attention? You'll know what type of guardian angel you have, depending on how you answer. Uriel, Rilu, Ilili, Yulir, Liru. Okay, then. Now, who to call upon? I choose the Yuki. What is the esoteric study of Jewish texts called? That would be Kabbalah. What is that? Leme Lemegaton? Good. Very good. Thank your guardian angel, because they must be kind. The magicians of the age achieved great things, particularly the renowned Grimoire. Grimoire is a collection of magical texts, usually as all-encompassing as possible, wherein I answer correctly, and therefore my charm goes up very slightly. I'm still smooth, though. Still smooth. I'm a smooth, tough, smart, smarty. Okay. And I guess we're going to keep hanging out with uh, this guy here. Oh, it's you. Well, if it isn't Makoto Kun. Perfect timing. You want to get something to eat? I can hear my poor stomach screaming for attention. Uh, yeah, sure. Yes. Wonderful, my gourmet friend. What are you in the mood for today? Rice, sandwiches, or maybe noodles? I know just the place. Hurry, I'm dying from hunger here. Well, look who it is. I knew you sounded familiar. I'd recognize that shrill, grating voice anywhere. I mean, who wouldn't? I don't have all the free time in the world like you high school kids, so let's try to keep this short. My son gave you money that was supposed to pay for his cram school. I'd appreciate it if you'd give it back. 
Let's just be done with this. I won't bother you again if you return the money now. Are we good? Um, look, sir, I don't think you have the full picture here. Your son said he hates cram school. That's why he was hiding in the park by himself. I was doing him a favor. If anything, you should be thanking me. Right? Uh, yeah, that's right. See? You think so, too. Well, what's this? Someone sure is bold today. You sure you're not going to start screaming emergency and run away? My, my, you really don't have a clue, do you? No wonder you don't understand how your son feels. Besides, haven't you heard? He's my bodyguard now. Uh, yeah. Seems to trust me with all his heart. should be the one forgiving you. And even if I did, there's no way you're getting into paradise. People like my dead brother, non-believers like you, you're not welcome there. <sighs> Talking to you gives me a headache. You know my son, right? He's still in elementary school, and yet he has a better head on his shoulders than you do. Your parents have my sympathy. I'd be ashamed if my son were as neck deep in this cult as you are. What? What did you just say to me? So that's how it is, huh? You're just like the rest of them. You think I should have died instead, don't you? You don't think I'll ever hold a candle to my twin brother, do you? Knock it off. Damn kid. God, this has been such a waste of time. Fine. If that's how you want to play, then just you wait and see. Better watch yourself, kid. Hang around this guy for too long, and he'll scam you, too. I tell my son the same thing. Choose your friends carefully. Now excuse me. Come back when you've learned a little respect. Uh, actually, don't come back. Ever! We won! We fought that guy off! As long as you're here, I've got nothing to fear. All right! I was dying of hunger, wasn't I? Come on! After eating with Suomitsu, I'm back to the dorm. That guy's got a lot of deep-seated issues. Anger issues. Oh, welcome back. Doesn't even seem sad about his brother. He just seem gets hungry and gets pissed off and all that. Hey, are you free tonight? With exams coming up, I thought maybe we second years could hold a study session. Pass. I'm heading to my room. Huh? Huh? Wait, Junpei. Oh well, his loss. You, me, and Fuka can still study together. Yes, precisely. It's fine to reflect on your victory, but don't forget that there are exams next week as well. That's true. Really making a name for yourself as our leader, especially with this current operation. Excellent commanding there. Next time, the enemies will probably get stronger again, but if you keep up the front effort, I know you'll do fine. Our next story concerns a very rare event. A miraculous flower which only grows once every hundred years has bloomed. Seems to be responding to the other strange events in town. Uh, oh, there's something going on here. Got something new. Go have a look for yourself. You're a curious one, aren't you? Well, go on and take a look. Security site note. A note with the URL of a site featuring videos on taking enemies down. <laughs> cool. <laughs> it's been a pleasure. And up here, nope. Something Elizabeth has? Yes. Marvelous. Okay. Two I'm Twilight looking forward to it. Okay. Here are my requests. Oh my god, there's so many new ones. Bring something you find from the ocean. I have longed to visit this place called the ocean. Shame. 
Alas, as you know, I'm unable to abandon my post here. So if you ever have the opportunity to visit the ocean, would you look for something that feels like the ocean for me? I will await a report sure. of success. Bring me a Christmas star. If I may say so. This time, I'd like for you to bring me a certain plant. It's often referred to as a Christmas star. I do not have any more knowledge on this subject. Should you require help, I recommend asking someone well-versed in plants. I will await a report of success. Please feed the cat. There we go. Finally. The fucking cat. Give the hungry cat some food. Sense of presence. I sense a presence. There seems to be a hungry cat somewhere out there. It appears to have trouble finding food. As such, it has not yet been fed. Would you please find and feed the poor thing? By all means. I'd like to see a pair of Max safety shoes. Oh, yes. The other day I overheard a housewife say something rather intriguing. Within the world of online shopping, these Max safety shoes are extremely popular right now. I would love to see what makes these shoes so special. Would you please bring me a pair? I will await a report of success. Want to eat some chilled taiyaki? I would too. I would fucking love to as well. Come to think of it. There's this sweet grilled fish called taiyaki that is often consumed in your world. Apparently there's also strange taiyaki that is cold even though it has been grilled. I for one would love to have a taste. Could you br please bring me one? By all means. Defeat a rare shadow. Defeat the rare shadow in the third block, Yabasha, and bring back one rustic I will coin. Await a report of success. And retrieve the fourth old By document. All means. Okay. Very well. And we are Friday, so tomorrow the pharmacy will have a. <coughs> we'll have the discount. When can I put the chill taiyaki? Is it at the end of the month? Oh, I can. Okay. Should remember to give it to Elizabeth sometime tomorrow or later. And I'll have to remember to get more from the school. Um, there we go. Um, Did you need something? Come to think of it, Elizabeth asked me to get a specific item for her. Oh, Christmas star. That's the ornament on top of the tree, right? Why do you need one of those? Oh, if I'm right, I might not refer to an ornament at all. There's a certain type of plant that's sometimes called the Christmas star. Could you wait a few minutes? I'll go double check. <clears throat> poinsettia. Sorry. Sorry for the wait. Here you go. I think what you're looking for is a poinsettia. The flower is usually sold during Christmas time, so it'd be hard to find in stores now. <laughs> Fortunately, I had some in my room. Here you go. Thank you. I'll give it to Elizabeth tomorrow when I go to the, the <sighs> pharmacy as well. It's almost time for exams. Have you been studying? We we're just about to start studying together. You want to join us? It's okay with you, right, Fuka? Uh huh. Of course. We study with us. Let's study together. Yeah. Fuka, your notes look so trendy. I kind of wasn't expecting that. Oh no, these are Natsuki Chan's notes. She let me borrow them since I was out trapped in Tartarus. What a good friend. Mm hmm. She sure is. That said, there's actually quite a bit missing from these notes. Oh, you're right. This part just has the equation and no answer. And this page is full of doodles. And this part... Uh, a drool stain. Is that a drool stain? Hey, it may not be the best study material, but it's the thought that counts, right? No. Good study material is what counts. I've been trying to think of a way to return the favor. Uh, it's a thought that counts. <laughs> Complete her notes. Complete her notes? You mean like fill in all the parts she's missing? Oh, that sounds like a great idea. Uh, but it's going to be a lot of material. I wonder if I can finish it all. Then we'll help you out. It'll be a good review for us, too. <sighs> Thanks, you two. Here, let me see those notes. Oh, yeah. 
We began to fill in Natsuki's notes. We nearly rewrote the entire thing. It really did make for a good review. All done. It looks wonderful. <laughs> Natsuki chan's in for a real surprise when she sees this. I hope she likes it. I'm sure she will. I couldn't have done it without your help. Thanks, you two. Well, it certainly helped us study too, right? I'll make sure to give Natsuki-chan the notes back tomorrow. Good night. Night, night, Fuka. I'm surprised Pharaohs hasn't come uh, to visit us in the middle of the night. Hey. Hey. Uh, so, exams are coming up pretty soon. Have you been studying? Yep. <sighs> oh, yeah? Well, not that it's any of my business. Here we go. Finally, we've reached the Taira no Masakado. He is the turning point of the area of the samurai. Era of the samurai. It all began with infighting among the Tyra clan. Their conflict escalated until the Imperial Court had to intervene. Masakado was pursued by the Imperial Court, so he had no choice but to openly oppose them. The result was known as the War of Masakado. I'm so... Yuki, you may not look like a samurai, but let's see if you know this one anyway. There's a theory that Tyra no Masakado thought of the prototype for an item essential to battle. Now, what do you think that item was? Something every samurai needs. Katana, armor, or rifle? Um, I would think it's the katana. Samurai don't, don't use rifles as far as I know. Um, the katana. Yes, exactly. Knew that one already, huh? Yep, it's a katana. Think of samurai and their swords are... Think of samurai and their swords are the first thing that come to mind. Although it's not known whether Masakado really came up with them. This is going to be on the uh, exam next week, so prepare well. Let's get forward a little to the Kamakura era. Ah, at last, I can feel them on their way. The samurai are almost here. In 1185, the Kamakura Shogunate was established. Yes, we're there. And of course, its founder was Minamoto no Yoritomo. Can't believe we finally made it. Right before exams, too. It's a message from Sonata. Kutsuki-san is coming tonight. Sounds like he has something to tell us. We'll meet on the fourth floor once we're all back. Probably should spend the time studying, but you know, I want to talk to the. I want to get the social links over and done with too. Because there is a chance. There's actually a very good chance I won't be completing all of them. Um, because there is something called like the perfect run. Um, well, there's many types of perfect runs. Like uh, if you do things a certain order uh, and do and do certain things as well, it'll. Um, you'll be able to get through all of them. I don't know what like the margin is like of um, how many days you'll have left if you do everything perfectly. But uh, yeah, it'll be tight. But to say the least. We're having one big sale today. You can't find prices lower than here. Okay, so I definitely need the band -Aids. I mean, I know that we just got the recarm ability from the Principality, but... Which ones? This is always good to have. Um, no, we can... Let's do 10. We can afford it. Cures Rage. Let's do... 
Thanks 15 of coming. these. Which ones? Thanks for coming. You made up your mind? Thanks. You never know when mind. this would really come in handy. Thanks. Value medicine. Yeah. Done already? Yeah. Thanks. No problem. Okay. Let's do Good day. This. Here are my requests. Let's hear the results. Seems you've completed a quest. One moment. The red leaf plant. Is that the Christmas star? I was led to believe there will be presents growing from this plant. Very well, then. This fulfills my request, but you can take it back with you. Although once the presents are in bloom, I'd like for these plants to fill our room. <laughs> Please take this as your reward. Jack's gloves. Okay, cool. <coughs> uh, no. Very well. Uh, let's see. Akihiko. Jack's gloves. Ooh, high charm. So we lose, what is that, 12 uh, accuracy, but we gain like 30, uh, we gain 30 damage. Yeah, I think that's definitely worth it. Okay. And before I talk to, uh, to Suamitsu. Port Island Station, yep. Because we have a cat. Let's talk to this guy first. This station is near the high school, so I often see Gekukon. Uh, we already talked to this guy. Oh, I thought it was brighter. Oh, well. Does she have anything new? Is not. Oh, little pussy. Meow, meow. This cat looks very weak. Seems like it might be hungry. Maybe I should give it super cat food. Give it super cat food. Meow, meow. Cat is purring loudly. Seems happy. Maybe the cat will feel better if I come back and feed it again tomorrow. All right. Uh, we were at the mall. All right, Sumitsu. Oh, it's you. Ah, oh, you're finally here. Do you want to get some meat? I can hear my poor stomach crying woefully. Nice. Yes. Wonderful, my gourmet friend. I knew I could count on you. And today's main course is seafood soup. And I know just the place for it. Oh, I could I could really do with a nice bisque. I love bisque so much. Uh, the restaurant is filled with the familiar smell of fish. Seven, eight, nine. Shoot, I'm coming up short on my counts. I have to find one more new person. Damn it all! Why doesn't anyone take me seriously? I'm not gonna lose to my brother again. I'll show him. I'll show them all! What? What's going on? So he to rent to the restroom. It's over. The baby came out good and healthy. Aw, oh, dude. Your job to laugh at the gourmet king's dumb jokes. <laughs> I don't get it. I was fine up until a minute ago, then suddenly I felt sick. Are you sick? What do you mean? Look at all the nutrition I'm taking in. I'm the paragon of health. Well, except for this gut. Hey, don't you worry about me. This is a trial I have to face before I'm reborn anyway. If I want my place in paradise after this world ends, I have to prove my worth. It'd mean a lot to me if you considered, uh, coming to paradise with me, too. 
Sumimitsu seems comfortable having me as a friend. This guy's weird, man. Like, wait, why does he keep talking about paradise like that? Ah, the noodles got soggy while my stomach was giving me trouble. You'll have to wait till next time to hear about paradise. But for now, let's just focus on our ramen. Ooh, sir, can I get some rice and dry seaweed? I'll salvage this ramen by turning it into a rice soup. Finished my meal and went back to the dorm. And that's the summary of what happened on the night of the 7th. These shadows seem to be quite a bit more formidable than the ordinary ones. I see. So our enemies are growing stronger as well. Well, it's not all bad news. In fact, I called today's meeting because... Hold on. Before we go on, I'd like to ask Kirijo senpai something. Oh? I know I'm not the only one thinking this. So much has been happening lately. I feel like I've just been getting dragged along without really understanding anything. But now, I want answers. So I'm gonna ask you straight out. You've been hiding something from us, haven't you, senpai? You're always acting like you don't know anything about the Dark Hour or Tartarus. But they're connected to that accident ten years ago, aren't they? What accident? Y yukari chan There was an explosion near our school and a lot of people died. It must have been big news back then. You know about it, don't you? Yes. Luckily, no students were injured. But something is off here. At the time of the incident, there were several unexplained absences. Seems like more than just a coincidence to me. What do you mean? Well, I dug up some old school records and found something interesting. Those students weren't just absent. They all suddenly collapsed and had to be sent to the hospital. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Remember those girls who bullied Fuka? They had to be hospitalized too. <laughs> I want an explanation. What really happened on the day of that accident? The Kirijo group built our school, so you have to know something. Tell me the truth. I wasn't trying to hide anything from you. It just never seemed relevant. But... It's okay. It's not your fault. All right. I'll tell you everything. Shadows have many mysterious abilities. Some research indicates they can even affect time and space. We think of them as our enemies, but what if we could somehow use them to our advantage? They could be a source of unimaginable power, couldn't they? What? Fourteen years ago, one man pursued that very line of thinking. He was the former leader of the Kirijo group, Koetsu Kirijo, my grandfather. Finally getting some backstory on these guys. My grandfather was obsessed with the shadows. He wanted to harness their power to create something extraordinary. Create something extraordinary? To that end, he assembled a research team and had them amass a number of shadows. He was collecting them? Damn, that's freaking crazy. But ten years ago, during the final stages of the project, there was an accident, and the experiment failed. They lost control of the Shadow's power, altering the nature of the entire world. You can't mean... Yes. Tartarus and the Dark Hour. <sighs> so they created the Dark Hour. Along with the Tartarus. According to the records, the accumulated mass of shadows split into several large ones that later dispersed. These are the shadows we've been encountering on nights when the moon is full. Maybe that's why it's difficult to predict where they'll appear. Wait a minute. If what you said is true, 
Then why did our school turn into Tartarus? Don't tell me. Is it because that's where they conducted the experiment? Yes. Then those students who were hospitalized... It's just as you fear. It was a highly populated area, and the Kirijo group had influence there. They could essentially do as they pleased. Port Island must have been the perfect location for them. So yes, as you guessed, the experiment ten years ago was conducted at Gekokan High School. Just what are you trying to say here? So that's the whole purpose behind Seas? We were dragged into all this just to clean up their mess? You lied to us? <laughs> and you knew too, didn't you, Sonata Senpai? You've both just been using us! Or do you not care as long as you're the one who gets to do the fighting? I never said anything like that. I have my reasons. Think what you'd like, but it was my decision not to share the information. I'm sorry. It was never my intent to deceive you. Convincing you to join Seas was my highest priority. I know it may not be fair, but Shadows can only be defeated by Persona users. We are the only ones who can fight. That's hardly the point! I never had a choice either. It didn't matter if I wanted this power or not. I... Mitsuru, that's enough. Takebakun, it's only those in the past who are to blame. And they lost their lives as a result of what they did. We're all in the same boat here. None of us deserve the burden that's been thrust upon us. But that's... <sighs> it's been ten years since the incident in question. No one knows why those shadows suddenly returned. But now that they're here, we have the chance to find and destroy them. Do you realize what that means? What if I told you that the Twelve Shadows are the cause of everything? You're saying if we defeat them all, Tartarus and the Dark Hour will disappear? Exactly! That's what I was going to tell you earlier. See? It's good news, isn't it? Can that really be true? There's evidence to support it. And this is where our true battle begins. Our true battle... Regardless of what's happened in the past, we must fight to protect the people. The shadows are gaining strength. We can't afford to wait for them to strike first. Right. And there are still many mysteries surrounding Tartarus. For instance, why did such a gigantic structure appear in the first place? The answers must be out there somewhere. Hmm. We must defeat the 12 shadows that started all of this in order to eradicate both the Dark Hour and Tartarus. I must fight to protect everyone. Six of them remain. So it's pretty crazy to think that Kirijo, uh, the Kirijo group is the reason why we have this whole game to begin with, really. You know, that they were experimenting on, like, the different dimension, I guess, where the shadows came from, and something went wrong, and yeah. It, now we have the Dark Hour and Tartarus. So, they also asked the question, like, why now? Why are these 12 shadows, like, these great shadows, like, why are they causing problems now? <laughs> It's a good question. It's a very good question. Hey. Well, aren't you calm? That's because you're a fantastic leader who can do anything, huh? No matter what happens, you can handle it all by yourself. Isn't that right? Huh, I wish nobody like me could be like that. Um. Junpei Kun, are you listening? The only thing that anyone knows about Tartarus is that it creates shadows. Other than that, we're all in the dark. <sighs> I'm so sorry about everything. Let me know if there's anything I can say to be of help. Uh, okay. What are the Twelve Shadows? Special shadows that appear on full moons. They're the product of the research accident ten years ago. 
in the incident, an experimental entity comprised of numerous shadows was split once more into 12 large pieces. Oh, so it was one big giant do uh, shadow and it just split up 12 times, or 11 times, technically. As such, their power far exceeds those found in Tartarus. Tread with appropriate caution. Yes. How did the public take it? In the end, over 50 people were injured in that accident. The media placed full blame on the Curio group for the tragedy. They singled out one researcher in particular, declaring him the main culprit behind it all. Whether it actually was, whether it was actually all his fault or not, was not the issue. The public was looking for someone to vent their pain and anger on, so they chose it. They chose him, even though he was a victim himself. Their wrath was unparalleled. It was almost more frightening than seeing a horde of shadows. Yes. What happened with Mitsuru? Under the pretense of assisting for the benefit of the group, she was subjected to experiments on her persona for many years. Solving the mystery behind the unknown ability of personas, the development of various equipment beginning with the Evoker. None of this would have been possible without her cooperation. There must have been some dangerous experiments at times too, and yet she kept agreeing to it all, I'm told. Yes. That's fucked up. Tell me about Sonata. He and Kirijo-kun have known each other for a very long time. Sonata-kun joined us when he was only in middle school. At the time, we had a third member as well, but I digress. I'm guessing it's a Shinjiro, Shinji? The guy in like the, the red coat with like the, the beanie? Let's see if there's any new videos. There are no new recordings. Okay. Town map. Oh. What do we got here? Oh, hey, here we go. Oh. My, aren't you handsome? Can I interest you in being a part of a promotional campaign I'm running? Oh, you're still in high school? Hmm, that would mean... Perhaps if I trained him. The man seems to be mumbling to himself. Seems that my charm has caught his attention. Hey. Say, young man, how would you like to have all your dreams come true? Well, do I have a golden opportunity for you? Tell me more. <laughs> so now, this stays between us, so don't to go telling anyone, okay? I can make you rich, 100% guaranteed. All you need is 20,000 yen, and your investment will multiply by 10. No, by 100. And the best part is, you don't even have to be to lift a finger. You will become fabulously wealthy overnight. Just give me the 20,000 yen, and I'll take care of the rest. <laughs> well, what do you say? I mean, normally you'd say no, but we want this social link, so we have to say yes. I gave the man 20,000 yen. Bye-bye. That'll do it. I'll be in touch once your fortune has been made. Goodbye now. I'll be in touch. Yeah. Okay. I should ask my about the other results of my investments another time. Okay. Um, when does this place open? July twenty second. Okay, so like another week. More than a week. Week and a half. Um. It's Saturday, which is academics. Or I could do... You know what? Let's do academics. I was going to do like, uh, I was going to say I could do like the computer thing. I really don't think I'm going to raise my academics in time for the exam to, to look uh, five, but whatever. No school today. Ooh, story beat. 
Lounging about as usual, huh? Hmm? You. What do you want? If you're gonna ask me to go back, the answer's still no. That's not why I'm here. I was just making sure you were still around. That's so. We've known each other a long time. It's been almost 14 years since we met at the orphanage. You, me, and Miki. We used to run around here until the sun went down. Back then, it seemed like we had all the time in the world. Huh. You haven't changed one bit. If you want to get all sappy, go do it with your other pals. What was that? It's rare for you to think about the past. Usually, you just charge ahead like a damn fool. You've never been good at hiding shit. Everyone thinks about the past. Even me. Anyway... We finally know how to get rid of Tartarus in the Dark Hour. No shit? Yeah. The thing is... All I've cared about until now is getting stronger. Everything else came second, but yesterday... Someone made me question my reason for fighting. Your reason for fighting? Huh. It's different for everyone. But if you don't have a good one, you can always quit. That's what I did. I'm not like you. <laughs> Man, I can't believe I'm the one getting lectured here. <sighs> well, see you around. Hmm. You really haven't changed at all. Yes? Can I talk to you for a moment? Senpai? This is unusual. Please, come in! So not only do you excel at providing support during battle, you are also quite skilled at gathering information. Oh, I I'm sorry for doing that without permission. Don't worry, you're not in trouble. But I do have an important favor to ask of you. I want you to find out as much as you can about that incident ten years ago. Oh, well, very little of that was made public. I know. That's why I want you to access the Kirijo Group's database. You mean... Hack into their system? Is that allowed? I'll Technically, no, ideas. you're hacking. Then you won't be held accountable. But I need to know the truth. In detail. Senpai. Of course, I'll understand if you refuse. Okay. I'll see what I can do. Are you sure? I appreciate it. Yamagishi. Aren't you resentful? Regardless of my good intentions, I did drag you into this without fully explaining. I'm sure you must have at least a few complaints. Not really. Did you know my entire family is made up of doctors? My parents are the one exception. It gives them a bit of an inferiority complex. That's why they're so hard on me. I don't like being at home. But here, I'm able to do something no one else can. I have a purpose, so no, I don't have any complaints. You're right. We can't do this without you. No one could take your place. Uh, oh! Thank you. I'll see you later. So, Tartarus and the Dark Hour are on the way out, huh? <laughs> no, that's a good thing. It's what we've been fighting for. So then, why? Damn it! Why am I so pissed? Gosh, it's hot, even for July. Wow, can't believe we're already third years. Guess this will be the last time we'll wear these uniforms and hang out after school. <sighs> Who cares? I just want to get into college and start having fun already. I get it. My problem is me. 
and going on like fighting was my duty and all. Actually, it's just all I'm good at. Because without that, without that, I'm nothing. <laughs> so much for being a hero. I can't fight worth the shit anyway. Not compared to him, at least. Damn it! Nothing I do is good enough. It sucks, uh, you know, having an inferiority complex like that. Um, I know quite a few people. I, I fall into that same category a few times myself. And it's, it's, really, it's really hard to kind of pull yourself up from, from that funk feeling, you know? Junpei is a, he's a surprisingly deep character. Uh, he's, he's one of my favorite characters in, in all of the Persona series. Because I really, really like his arc. Why am I only ever right about the worst things? Am I stupid for trusting in something so blindly? Dad, I got this letter from you last spring. I must have read it a thousand times since then. To my family, ten years into the future. Tomorrow, I'll bring this letter to the opening ceremony for the Moonlight Bridge. It will be stored in a time capsule and sent to you in ten years' time, Yukari. You may be small now, but in ten years, you'll be sixteen. You'll be in high school. I know you've been sad because I have to work so late, but you always manage to greet me with a smile. I'm really proud of myself. Kirijo-san appointed me head researcher. I'll be starting on a big project soon. It feels good to receive so much recognition for my oh, work. Oh shit. But I swear to you, nothing is more important to me than you and your mother. Oh, dad. So her dad worked with the Kurijo group. Studying the shadows, it looks like. That's her stake in this. That's why she gets all pissed off about this kind of stuff. Yukari, I wonder, are you enjoying life? Do you have high hopes for the future? Do you still look towards tomorrow with excitement and wonder like you do now? No matter what happens in the next 10 years, I hope you're happy. And I hope this letter brings a smile to both you and your mother's faces. Eiichiro Takeba, March 6th, 2000. No matter what happens, huh? All I can do is believe. I won't turn my back. I won't be like mom. Not ever. Sam's are coming up. <sighs> it's amazing comp I'm going to do it. Alright, the outdoor activity set. Summer vacation is upon us. We just have the thing we have just the thing for you this hot good, summer. Good. First up, we have the Max Safety Shoes. Stay stable on any terrain. I think that's what Elizabeth was looking for, too. Oh my goodness, it's wonderful! But wait! There is more. Not bad, kid. We'll throw in this instant curry, too. Guess how many? Two! Because we're cheap bastards this time. It's SP. I'm, I'm going to want a re SP restorative item. Wow, 10,000 yen. Yeah, I'll take it. Not bad, kid. Thanks, kid. Oh, it's thanks, kid. Bye bye. All right. Oh, right, the cat. The meow meow. The little puss puss. Seems happy. It's purring seems more energetic than la than it did last time. Maybe the cow will feel even better if I come back and feed it again tomorrow. Alright. And just want to make sure Naganaki Shrine. Dude's not here. No. Okay. Let's head back and talk to Maya.
on the next episode of Phoenix Ranger Featherman R. Episode 21, Trash Monster on the Move. The litter kids. On to today's news. What's up? Maybe we should hold off on going to Tartarus tonight, too. Looks like everyone is studying in their own rooms. They're all keeping busy to themselves. They're all keeping to themselves because they're busy studying, right? That's that's right, yeah. In that case, once exams are over, everything should be back to normal. Oh, my taiyaki. It's sufficiently chilled. Okay, good. Come to think of it, Elizabeth said she wanted some chilled taiyaki. Okay. Uh, okay, so what does this chilled taiyaki do? Restores 100 HP to one ally. Okay, it's not that great. Okay, we'll do this and then we'll talk to Mike. I get tired of coming up with new things to cook for dinner. My family always complains when I end up making something similar to what they had for lunch. My friend told me that one time her kid who goes to Gekkon bought a pork cutlet sandwich for lunch. And when she made him pork cutlet for dinner, he yelled at her. She told him, well, you should have bought some sweet pastries or apple strudel instead. Yeah, he's right. Exactly. Good day. Okay. Here are my requests. So, chill taiyaki. So this is a chill taiyaki. Well, it certainly is you cold. Has a soft, chewy texture and such cute round eyes. I shall savor every bite. Please take this as your reward. Nile cloth. And the cat we're doing. Okay. Uh, nope, that's Very it. Well, the base model for fusion armor cannot be equipped. Okay. So we have 14 Twilight Fragments, that's good. Okay. Town map, let's head back to the dorm. And we'll talk with Mayaya. I don't know what it is, the handle of the door looks like it's very low res. No, not, no, no. Okay. If you like to might go closer. Beautiful. Beautiful. I hope Tatsuya gets here soon. Why is walking nearby? I'm not even complaining today or anything. So rare. But I have to tell Tatsu because he's my MMO partner. I'll be brave. I love how she's like texting this out, you know what I mean? Typing it out. I'm so lame, I'm blushing for reals. Oh no, so now I'm starting to get sweaty. Um, are you talking to yourself? Oh my god, how long have you been there? I should have been, hurry up and tell me. I seem surprised. Uh, sorry, I was kind of spaced out. I seems to be embarrassed. I'm kind of interested in someone from school. He's kind of a student, though. Oh shit, what do you say? Oh my god, I said it. None of the male teachers are even in my league, so I gave up looking for BFS or BFs at work. I never thought I'd fall for a student. It's kind of crazy, even for me. Uh, what's he like? Hmm, he's kind of quiet, but real mature and intense looking. And hot. I love this one emo face he makes when he makes sometimes. Who needs food and water when I got that? I seems happy. He's one of my own students, actually. He lives in a dorm because his parents passed away. Just transferred in this year. Maybe I can pull some strings and talk to him one-on-one. -on -one. I am his homeroom teacher. But by the way... You don't need to be jealous. It's just a little crush, okay? 
Tatsuya is the only game partner for Maya. No worries. I can tell that Maya cares about me. I feel like we're growing closer. I wonder if it's uh, us that she's talking about. That she has a crush on. I haven't made my my app yet, but I'm gonna go to a salon. Oh, my appointment yet, but I'm gonna go to a salon. Yuki-kun will be head over heels for me the next time he sees me. It is! Alright, Tatsuya, I gotta go. Let's think positive. Upstairs? Oh, everyone's studying, right. Um, what do we have again? We have these two, right. I'm going to go and eat some food that will make me smarter, as opposed to studying. Because studying's for chumps. I don't see the point of this, but... I don't know, whatever. Alright, I can sense Omega-3 is rushing to my brain. I feel like it's, I can solve any problem now. Pharos. It's good to see you again. How long has it been since we first met? Time passes so quickly. So tell me, how's life as a Persona user? Uh, fulfilling. That's good to hear. I remembered something else about the coming of the end. It all stems from something that took place many years ago. Ten years ago, if I remember correctly. Oh, didn't your parents pass away about ten years ago? A persona is like a mirror, which means a persona user can never escape their true self. But no matter what, I won't leave you, because we're friends. Right? I sense a faint bond forming between Pharaohs and me. So our fate is also tied to that explosion from ten years ago. Good night. Were our parents living on the island at the time? Near people talking. Wow. Uh, we have exams starting tomorrow, and they're cumulative, so it's hard to remember everything. You know what? What if I fail again? I really wish a school would stop posting our names with our scores. Yep, yep. Right? It's embarrassing if we're near the bottom of the list. Smart people like Kirijo Senpai wouldn't get it though. Exams are starting tomorrow. Are you all ready? Summer vacation is just within reach, so you better study hard. Why aren't you excited? You know, summer vacation, beaches, shaved ice, woohoo! It's also the hottest time of the year, though. Don't go overheating, okay? Ah, that reminds me. There's an old expression for the hottest time of the year in the Northern Hemisphere. Feeling sleepy? No, stay awake. The dog days of summer. It all goes back to the it all it goes all the way back to an ancient Latin phrase, the puppy days. Any idea where the phrase comes from? Anyone? Well it's because Sirius, also called the called the dog star, appears at the start of summer. People believed it brought droughts and misfortune. Here's hoping we can avoid all that, I guess. Have a nice vacation. Let 
a little bit smarter, guys. Come on, Junpei. Wow. Come on. Oh man, how am I supposed to study for exams at a time like this? This sucks. There's no way I can get a good score. How about that attitude, bro? But yeah, the meow meow. I almost forgot about the cat. This cat looks very weak. Seems like it might be hungry. Meow meow. The light in his eyes has returned. Maybe the cat will feel him better if I come back and feed it again tomorrow. Well, if that's the case, I gotta go pick up some more. They're gonna say the same thing to me. I, overheard, I heard there are some scary shenanigans going on over those intertubes these days. How about that? I'm pretty in the know for an old guy, huh? Yep, those intertubes. I Which think one? I'll buy two more, I want? guess. Thanks for coming. That's all Talk I want. Everything you need. Yep. Come again, yeah? Yeah. Hello? Oh, hey. Want to grab a bite somewhere? I can hear my stomach crying out with a vengeance. Uh, should I do academics or... Nah, let's just do the yes. social links. To be honest, I need to talk to you today. So we need a spot where we can eat good meat and chat. And I know just the place. What I'm about to tell you is top secret. This is for your ears only, okay? This world is gonna end soon. All of humanity is gonna be completely wiped out. But don't worry! We'll be recreating it as a new land for the survivors. Paradise! Well, did that just blow your mind? Yeah, I'm freaking out. <laughs> well, don't wet your pants or anything. I'm trying to eat a hamburger here. But it's all right. I forgive you. In paradise, everyone has wings and perfect figures. And they smell like flowers. I... I can finally be reborn into a worthwhile body. But if we don't do something, you'll get left behind when the world ends. And I do not want that to happen. So come on, we'll go to paradise together. All right. Don't do it because you're my subject, okay? Do it because we're friends. Okay. Yeah, I feel like I gave the wrong answer on that one because I didn't get any of the notes. Okay, so how about this? If we factor in initiation fees, scriptures, and other products, uh, it comes out to 132,000 yen. You could take out a loan, right? Not to mention, you'll get a discount since I'll be referring you to. <laughs> you are one lucky guy. That's insane. Insane? You're the insane one with that sinful mouth of yours. I just wanted to share eternal happiness with you because I care about your soul. I have to go repent on your behalf. In the name of faith, emergency! So that's why, that's how he's getting the money. That's how he's scamming the other kids. Who's going to believe something like that? Uh-oh. Welcome back. <sighs> the fuck? What's wrong? You all hungry or something? Seriously. Mm, not really. Is it just awkward around here because of... Yeah, an awkward silence fills the room. Um, you know, it's almost summer break. Oh yeah, it is, huh? Does anyone have any plans? I wish I could go to the beach. Sand, cool breeze, <laughs> babes in bikinis. Man, a break like that sure would be nice. It's somewhere in the south, where the water is crystal clear. But starting tomorrow, we gotta get through our exams. 
Oh man, this sucks. I'm sure you'll be fine, but it would be nice to go somewhere with beautiful beaches, like Okinawa. Well, it's not Okinawa, but how about Yakushima? Mr. Chairman, I didn't realize you were here. I happen to be in the area, so I thought I'd drop by and tell you my schedule for next week. Oh, Hirijoku, your father will be vacationing in Yakushima during the break. He... he will? You'll all have some time off after exams, right? Why don't you go and get a nice change of scenery? Seriously? We're gonna go on a trip? Yes! Beaches and bikinis! Beaches and bikinis! Beaches and bikinis? This guy. <laughs> How about it, Hirijoku? Well, my father is a busy man. I don't want to ruin his vacation. <laughs> Why so hesitant? No father would be upset with a daughter who came all that way to see him. You've all done a great job. You deserve to relax for a while. And we already know when the next operation will be, so I think it'll be fine. I don't know. Senpai, I'm begging you. <laughs> All right. I guess everyone needs a break now and then. Let's do it. The beach, huh? Well, it looks like they have something to look forward to. I should design a special training regimen. Oh man, I can't wait! Oh, I need to go buy a swimsuit. Hey, don't worry. I got one you can borrow. Oh my god. Nice try. Are you going to swim too, Mr. Chairman? I'm afraid I can't. I'll turn to dust if I'm exposed to sunlight. <laughs> wait, seriously? That was actually kind of funny. Don't be stupid. <laughs> Kirijo Senpai, wait up! Uh, I just wanted to say sorry about the other day. I might have gotten a little carried away. Don't worry about it. In a way, it's only logical that we go to Yakushima. The chairman said that no one who was responsible for the accident survived, but there is one who did. What? There is? My father. I had no idea. Okay. So max safety shoes and the curry. Nice one. Gotta say, I didn't expect Akutsuki san to come bearing good news. Figured he was just here to share more of share more of his lame jokes. Let's see what's on TV. Sign is cancer, then your lucky color is green. For extra luck, try wearing your shoes on the wrong feet. I've done that. It hurts. Is he gonna... Hello. About Yakushima. Remember that you won't be able to go if you don't score well on your exams. Since everyone is here, why don't you have 30 years overlook your studies? Uh, no thanks. Really no. Oh, is that so? Well, there's no rush to make a decision right this moment. Let me know if you change your mind. I'll let everyone else know just in case. Let's see what everyone else is doing up here. I'm so stoked for Yakushima, but that's one thing. You're as calm as ever, huh? Wish I had your chill. Okay, so I'm gonna head to Polonia Mall to show Elizabeth the uh, shoes. Actually, let me check out, see what this does. So Resora's 50 SP to one ally, that's good. 50 HP, wow. I can withstand being run over by a tank. Um, yeah. 
of Dakota wearing them. Marvelous. Sweet. I'm looking forward. Here are my requests. Wonderful. Okay, so these are the sought-after Max safety shoes. They seem like an ordinary pair of shoes. Shame. Perhaps its intended purpose will only reveal itself in a crisis. In that case, I'll be returning these. I'm sure they shall prove more useful to you. Okay, three more Twilight Fragments. I will take it. Bring me the mysterious person's autograph. From President Tanaka. If I may say so. Do you recall the online shopping world I spoke of in an earlier request? That seems to be related to a strange individual who often rambles along to a unique melody. Furthermore, he appears to be quite the prominent figure in your world. I've also heard that such prominent figures have a habit of handling, handing out autographs on the streets. Since I'm unable to leave my post, would you mind fetching me their autograph? By all means. Okay. Uh, no. Very well. He's not even here tonight, is he? So I'm actually going to call it here uh, because this video has gone on way long, longer than anticipated. Uh, we will continue on next time. Um, and I kind of want to stop it before the exams in case it goes right into the the next thing without even me being able to save. So uh, we got a lot accomplished this video. Um, I went through a lot of the social links, uh, went through the boss, uh, the, the full moon boss, uh, learned a lot about the, um, the the dark hour and Tartarus and, you know, how it came to be. And we have the summer vacation to look forward to right after the exams. So, yeah. I would say we're probably a, maybe a third through the game at this point. Quarter to a third, so... This is where the game really starts opening up in terms of the story and the plot. <clears throat> so, yeah. I uh, hope you guys are having a good time. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.